shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing more going. Say, man, look it, man. We got something that just fell in our lap, man. Loose Ace is in the building, man. What's good? Stop playing, man. He pulled up, nigga. East you East niggas East didn't East. think he was going to be here, nigga. He's Texas, nigga. Y'all better show this nigga some love, nigga. And any nigga that want to get on track with him, nigga, y'all better come on with that money, nigga, because he say he charging now. That's he is not trying to hear it no more. You know what I mean? For How real. you doing today, man? I'm good, man. Feeling man, good. I ain't been out the house in a minute, so it feel good to be out the house. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's been going down. I've been hearing things, man. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Never better. Already, man. So, uh, you know, let's just, let's just get all the way back into it, man. Tell us a little bit about just how you grew up, where you from, all that good stuff, man. Because a lot of niggas might not know you that's on this, you know, the platform. Man, I was born in Dallas, but I'm from East Texas. From your Marcia, heart. Texas, man. Okay. From Marcia, Texas, man. They, they be mixing it up. But East Texas legend is me, man. I grew up hard, how any nigga would. You know what I'm saying? In the hood. Yeah, yeah, Came yeah. Same shit. No okay, good. when you say in the hood, what you talking about? On Poplar Street, nigga? Where you shit. at over there? You I ain't gonna lie. Marcia's on Bel-Air? Small, where, where, where you at? Sam me, Johnson Street, nigga? Where you was at, nigga? Hell, I was let's talk Johnson about it. Sure. Already, nigga, let's go. Sure. Who was in the South? I done been all over, though. Already? Like, I can't even you just hanging pick out on University and all that? Everywhere. Already? I was all over. I couldn't For real. Pick a side. I was everywhere. I did it too, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so the music is dope, man. Appreciate the it. movement is live. Yeah, yeah, man. It's going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, what's up, baby? I know you got something to ask him, man. Let's go. I want to hear your voice. So, um, were you raised by your mom and dad? Yeah, I was right. Well, I was raised by my granny growing up, but once I turned like once I got in, I say middle school, I moved with my mama. Been with my mama ever since. And your dad? But I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, my dad. He was. In and out. Somewhere. Somewhere. I fucked with him, though. He was was just doing his thing like he's doing now. Okay. With my boy, though. Okay, that's good. No, because I like to ask these questions because a lot of people always tell me that they didn't realize certain things about themselves till they got older, as in the reason why they acted out when they were younger as a kid, you know, whether we're a trouble kid or I did this, it's because my father wasn't there or because my mom, you know, so I was just trying to get to the root of certain things and see Uh, what's going on. I can't blame him. Like, it take a part in it, but I can't blame him. I made my own choices. I made my own mistakes. I knew what was up. I grew up fast. I can say that. What did you siblings? Yeah, I got four. Two so, sisters, two brothers. So why did you have to grow up fast and not enjoy your childhood? I mean, my mama had me at a young age. My mama had them when she was a little older. She was a okay. little mama too. So you're the first child? I'm the first child. Okay. I'm the one that, uh, you know, that the one that ain't, you know what I'm saying? I was just, I'm just me. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. different. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to go too much. No, no, no that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Dude, how, how is it? How, how is it? How, how magnifying is it? Growing up in Marshall, Texas, nigga. Everybody in your mama know you, nigga. Everybody, everybody nigga, know. You, you turn the corner, nigga. They know you in long. Yeah, that nigga I'm been talking about long. When I was, that nigga when came I, up eighty, <laughs> nigga. We seen the nigga. He was when, he I, when I was young, running away from home. They burned your back. Everybody. Oh, he over here. His mom put him right up. <laughs> Swear to God. It'll yeah. be, she done called the police, all kinds of shit. I'm, yeah. I'm leaving. I, ain't, yeah, I was trying, trying to, to go get it, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. At a young age, like yeah, 14, yeah, no. 13, 14. No, no, I get it. I'm I get out. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you you know, y'all, y'all, y'all finally got a Walmart down there, and, and that was too much. Y'all get it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. No, nah, that's, that's, that's the way it be, man. Like, like, I think the most important thing is, man, is that, every opportunity that you go through or every instance that you feel like you hit a bump in the road, don't let it take you out, young nigga. Yeah, yeah, I can't. You know what I'm saying? That's the most important thing. And everything is just a minor setback for a major comeback, too. Yeah. Everything. I don't care what it is. If it's not for you, it's against you, but it ain't going to take you out. Mm-hmm. That's what you got to know. I'm always gonna that energy back. right there going to have you resilient <laughs> as hell and niggas going to be, damn, what he going to do next? Yeah, for sure. You feel me? Yeah. So, so but when you say it's a minor setback for a major comeback, but at the same time, everything we go through in life is a learning lesson, no matter what it is. Yeah. It's for us. The reason why people keep going through the same things over and over because they don't take the time to sit down and be like, "Okay, why did I go through this? What do I need to learn?" Because everything is a learning lesson, 
And if you don't take that time to sit down and realize what it is, you're going to keep going through it over and over until you bump your head to figure out, you know what, I listen now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're a dope lyricist. Um, I'm going to tell you just like this, the more more closer you get to popping, the more tension going to come from someone trying to take you out. I already know. Do you understand that? Yeah, yeah. The more eyes set on you, the more oh, haters right, going to be trying to come at you. Knock me down. Yeah, yeah. Listen, man, this is the game. Yeah, your music fly. That's why it's coming at you like it's coming at you at all times because that's what it does. That's the game. And it don't just go for you. That's for every nigga that's getting money. Yeah. Every nigga that's getting recognition. Every nigga that's getting accolades. They going through it. And if you start really paying attention to it, you'll see it. But how do you beat it? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the goal. Because once you beat it, nigga, you riding around in Bentleys and all kind of stuff, and you just having a great life, flying out. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's the ultimate goal is to build up wealth for your family, for them four oh, yeah. siblings. I got a son on the way, too. For that son. Oh, wow. He'll be here in like two or three weeks. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Shout out, what, you just having a boy, huh? Yeah, yeah, boy. Y'all already checked it out. Yeah. That's dope. That's your namesake. Yeah, but that's your why. And as I was about to say, everything changes once you have a child. As much as you you might not think so, but once that child come out and look at you, you realize that this human being relies on you. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know what I mean? So every choice you make, every song you write, because he going to be a certain age where he going to be Wait, 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 wait. He ain't writing no music. This nigga punching him, bro. Nigga. <laughs> or every Stop every playing. song he make. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, he punching in, Ron. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, man, I love the way the music. I be talking, man. I love this, man. I love to see the young niggas get it. That's what a real OG nigga going to do. He ain't going to be hating. He know where he come from. Because he supposed to be and already went through what you going through. Yeah. So he supposed to be like, yeah, this here is how you handle it, young brother. You need to do this, this, and this. And I went through that, so I'm going to help you on this. That's what a real nigga, not talking about you, not talking about what you're doing, but really trying to give you some direction and guidance on how to handle it. No matter if it's the worst it can get or the best it can get, that nigga should have an analogy if you're a real hustler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just coming with the real. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's where it's at. You know what I'm saying? With me, for sure. You pick that phone up and call me. Now you got my number. You don't have no other, no, you like, hey, e, you, you said, nigga, is you real about what you say? And that's where it be. Check so. me, nigga. Don't you call me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the way it be. So, you know, I, I, I understand, man, how them streets can be. You know what I'm saying? What would you think is the worst the worst situation? I ain't gonna say situation, the biggest obstacle you faced. I'm facing my biggest obstacle in my life right now. Okay. And on <laughs> as a scale far as streets uh, and uh, listen this, to this. A task, an obstacle. Biggest obstacle. But listen at this. Right now, you feel like it's you scaling it yeah. on a one to three scale, but if you change that scale from a one to ten scale, then that three don't look so bad. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It's all about perception. It, it, the big big wolf, right? That seemed like it's gonna do all this. Really ain't that bad. Yeah, I'm already knowing. You see what I'm saying? I just gotta go through it. You gotta go through it. Gotta go through. I it. know, and bad. I guarantee you, I done been through it. That's all I'm telling you. Yeah. So that's why that's probably why you're here. You know, you probably didn't know it, but <laughs> I'm just being real. Yeah. Cause I, I I've been I understand, and that's the most important part. Most niggas can't relate because they ain't been through this stuff. So when I put it, my partner right here asked me, say, why you put this platform here? Cause I know I got something to say that's gonna be real relatable to these young niggas. I ain't nobody else interviewing like that in my that I see. You understand? <laughs> they can't, cause you gotta be done lived it. And and and, it, and I almost take you out. You understand what I'm saying? Then I can talk to you. But them niggas can't tell you nothing yet. I can tell you about the song and the music. But what about when when, when they don't go about the song? What about when when it's a, a a situation that goes negative? How can you relate to me, nigga? We can't okay. relate. So yeah, that's why I'm here. You asked, I got your answer right there in the midst of the interview. You're <laughs> but I'm here because I I, I feel like I, I need to be here because of what my people going through. You feel me? Yeah. And I'm from East Texas, real talk. But like I said, I've been in Dallas for years, bro. And I've always been back and forth down 20 and 80 and 30 and all that other good stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I also be in Fort Worth, Arlington, everywhere else too. Nigga, I frequent Texas. I'm a Texas nigga. I go to Houston, 
Austin, San Antonio, nigga, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So how how do you think you uh, gravitate to the music uh, right now? Do you think you got a good ear and a good sound for the music that's pretty much equating to where it needs to be to get you the looks you need? Yeah, I feel like I got that for sure. But I'm every day I'm trying to I'm working. So I'm All right. Well, to... But but when I when I say this, and I, and I'll ask you this question: Do music put money in your pocket? Yeah, yeah. And you know this for a fact. How? Streaming, booking services, all that. All that. It's, it's come. It, I ain't gonna say it's where I wanted to be. But okay, it never is. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, business is like that. Yeah, I'm just working to get it there. Yeah. So does it pay all your bills? Nah, it don't pay all my bills. Okay. I pay all my bills. Okay, and I, yeah. I, I'm just saying the music. If it was, you would still be paying all your bills, but it would be your music equating to paying all your fine. Yeah, you know yeah, your bills. Yeah. But at, at the same time, I get it. The streets and everything else and everything's wrapped up in a bow is who you are. Mm -hmm. But how do we get how do we get you to the next level for us to where we taking care of the babies and the kids and the family and all that? That's my boy. That's your boy. Okay, yeah, cool. Y'all nigga gonna mess my damn interview, let <laughs> niggas come in late. That nigga late. Have a seat, my nigga. That nigga trying to that nigga shopping. You nigga wearing purple, on. that nigga shot. You see, we gonna put this shit on. Everybody got this shit on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no uh, but let's get back to it. But like, it's gonna pay the bill. It's gonna take care of my son. It's gonna do all that. For okay. Sure. It's coming. Okay. Got to. Okay, how long have you been at it? I've been rapping. I made my first song, I was like 14. But, but I, I mean, how, when you've been serious about it, when you got serious about the music, that's where I'm at. I'm just with. now, like, I ain't even say I'm, I wouldn't even say I'm serious enough right now. Okay. I feel like I can go harder. I gotta okay. go harder. Okay, but it's, at the same time, you know, it's a lot going on with me right now. You feel me? Like, it's yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. going on. I know, and I know we ain't talking about it, or, or you're trying to stay away from it. Yeah, yeah, sure. you know. But at the end of the day, with with what you got going on, like I keep telling you, and I'm gonna tell you something else. I will give you this: the more you talk about it, or even think about it, it becomes something that you worship it. Yeah, and it clouds everything else. I don't know how you clear your mind to make sure that you're trying to figure out all this other stuff, cause it it, it can equate to some good music, but yes, it can it, it can equate to things that see, cause what a person say becomes them too. So a lot of time when you're saying the things that you say, whether it be in music, whether it be when in anger or whatever, you got to know how to be the character, the rapper, and the and the person. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to know how to separate the two, mm -hmm. just like an actor. It's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Because if not, you get caught up. My little cousin in uh, 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 new, uh, up in uh, North Carolina, that nigga, every song, nigga, they killing somebody on this song. I don't know what the hell going on. <laughs> I told that nigga, I said, man, every song, you niggas is straight gutter. See, I don't do that every but song. do you have, it, you, yeah, because that ain't real life, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got you some go, real life songs. You see too. what I'm saying? That you got to have something that equate to, it, Y'all don't even know the formula, man. When, uh, like, if, if you I take got a some person, songs make a grown man cry. Correct, you like that. correct. That's it right there. I just dropped because, a song, make a grown man. And the reason cry. I say that because what's the name of the song? Uh, one on the way. One, on, I just listened to it a while ago. Yeah, I didn't cry, but I just listened to it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it was nice, you yeah, know. But I'm just saying, it have to be a. You got to take it up and down. It got to be. It could be sad. It could be happy. It, this is life. Yeah, versatile. You can't create just anger. It got to be the, exactly. That's what's going, and then th that's what uh, I think people don't realize how serious that is. You know what I'm saying? And being able to flex like that, even this show. Mm -hmm. We don't just do rap. We do mental illness, up. all kind of stuff. Nigga, I said a nigga with a bow tie there, a nigga that say you're Muslim and talk crazy and have a good time in here. <laughs> that's bringing you see what in I'm all saying? kind of people though. That's yeah, exactly. Like Pull back up. Stuff. Come up. Oh. There you go. Get in that mic. <laughs> this is a podcast that streams on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher. So sometimes they may not see you. So that 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 you know what I mean on, mm -hmm. on all streams. You know what I'm saying? We everywhere. So wow. they gonna hear you. Nigga gonna be. They, oh damn, he on that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. clarity. So that's what is that. That's why I said. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know I'm what I'm saying? I'm on. So I'm so on. let's talk about. It. I'm gonna let you. Uh, yeah. So what do you, what do you, what do you think about? Other rappers out of East Texas, because it was something came out the other other week where where Trill Talk said right in that spot where you at, and he said, "Give us ten rappers out of East Texas, <laughs> and that ten rappers out of Houston, and ten rappers out of Dallas, and, and, and I, we gonna kill them." 
You got to be like that. Though. I'm just asking you. You, 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 look, you from me. Trip talk, the first block, really, the, <laughs> he putting East Texas, you know what I'm saying? The, so... He gotta, he gotta do that. I ain't that's, asking that's what trip talk thing. I'm saying, do oh, you? We gonna go you, hard. We gonna do what we gonna do. I am for sure. Yeah. Me, on site, Josie, Smoothie. We gonna do what we gotta do for sure. It's a couple more too, but I ain't gonna, you know. What Y'all saying? got that song, don't you? We got a couple songs. Yeah, I, but I heard one last night. They let me listen to it. And it was up here. I liked it too. Yeah, and I it. heard it. I think did Sergeant B send it to him? Somebody, I, they be rocking with me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm like, was, we previewed it on uh, Instagram too. Dang show did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Smoothie followed me, mm-hmm. so it's yeah, it's it's dope. I like that man. I love to see that come together. Yeah, we you supposed gotta, to bend it. That we, we really supposed to make a a, four, uh, a a tape called the Four Horsemen. I heard about it last night. Yeah. Me and Sergeant, I think it was Sergeant B. All you know, four of us. What happened? See, it's in the works. So y'all still gonna get down? Yeah, we're gonna get down for sure. Man, my biggest thing, I be mailing Josie, man, because he's from Linden, you know, and yeah. I'm like, man, come on, bro. You know, like, where you at, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, you you know what I'm saying? Where you at? That's Josie, that's my, like, not even no rap shit. That's my boy, like. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my boy, for That's real. how y'all rock, though. That's yeah. how y'all get down. I mean, you know, when you look at it, the way it's spaced out down there, and you look at how every, everything's laid out, um, you know, for y'all to be able to come together like that. Yeah. And, and and make that music uh, is a big deal. Mm-hmm. It's a big deal. We we did something similar to that, but it wasn't on no it wasn't on no raps. Stuff. Only only if You're, motherfuckers knew like the how we came together. Like so, how did y'all come together? I mean, I ain't gonna say too much, but like I met them through somebody I used to be cool with. You know what I'm saying? Somebody they ain't you know what I'm saying? They ain't ain't nobody you need to be cool with. You feel me? So okay. It's just long story. It ain't really much of a story, but it's just crazy how. Somebody could introduce you to somebody that's, you know what I'm saying? We supposed to, it's like we supposed to been locked in, but we weren't supposed to be locked in how that was, you know what I'm saying? How, through him, feel me? Yeah, yeah. Because we both really know this nigga ain't even, ain't the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So y'all, like y'all, that. y'all knew that wasn't going to be the. Yeah, but we locked in for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, that, 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 uh, what, what, what's that thing? Uh, what's the name of you? Do you have a whole project album? Yeah, I got two out. What, what name of East Texas Legend, that's the recent one, and the first one is called Trapped Emotions. I'm going to be honest with you. When I be looking at that music, I be looking at the singles, bro. Like, I'm, I'm straight looking at videos and songs. Yeah, I see you watch that motion. That's what I'm saying. I watch yeah. that, too. Videos and songs, <laughs> nigga. That's the way it go with some people. They ain't going to admit it, but I'm going to tell you how it be going down. Nigga, look at the videos and songs. So I feel like a nigga put out a project, he supposed to have about If he got how many songs you had on that project? The last one, like 12, 13. Y'all to have about eight eight videos. <laughs> I'm just being... Yeah, I'm <laughs> supposed to, yeah. I'm sure. telling you what it got to be. Yeah. In today's society, content is the king. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? And the DSLRs, and the, it's right at your fingertips. The drones, everything is here. Mm-hmm. So this is what we have to figure out. For our people to make it down here. And I also got something coming... If I can get you before anything happen, I'm trying to do like little documentaries with little movie skits with niggas' lifestyle. Yeah, I'm be here. Yeah, I'm the only nowhere. nigga that's gonna come up with something like that. These other niggas ain't working like that. I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna man. put that budget up. These niggas too cheap. Everybody <laughs> ain't gonna beat me. Yeah. <laughs> so if I could do that for each person that I'm connected with, then and and somebody don't try to steal my idea, nigga. I'm gonna know it if I see it, niggas. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, that's where I think it needs to be. But the niggas ain't willing to put that work in. You got to have videographers. You got to have people that's really listening and trying to do something. And a nigga behind them putting some money in their pocket in order to keep that going. The mm-hmm. artists will get down because it's going to be about them. Yeah. I ain't worried about them. It's more about the videographers and the people on the back scene. You know what I mean? Because the nigga want to see his yeah, life. It's like, it, it costs. It costs, but, but it's more of a delegation and, and being able to have leadership in, in place and having the right people. Like, I don't know if you, you didn't come to that long view of Fast Bash this week. Nah, I ain't ooh, been nowhere ooh. near East Texas. Man, I, go, I can't go out there. You should have seen it, boy. I got, <laughs> I got. Ooh, I left it at the house, though, boy. I got some <laughs> smoke, nigga. Ooh, you should have seen it. Ain't nothing even been like it. I mean, you could ask anybody. Had Pine never down there. For the real? Bit, man, I'm, a, I'm an engineer. I, I produce, man. Not on no music. I'm talking about visuals, nigga. It not like BET awards in that whole man. We get through with it. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm telling you. It's a whole nother level that niggas ain't touching because they ain't really tapped in the, the way they could be. Yeah. You know. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. So we got to take it another notch up if we want to be recognized. Yep. Are, we, are we gonna watch Atlanta do it? We gonna watch New York do, we it? do it? Are I we say. gonna watch uh, uh, who else? California. California. Are we gonna Are we gonna do it? What are we gonna do? 
You see what I'm saying? <laughs> we got all these damn rappers. Who got more rappers than us? We got a lot of damn rappers, man. Yeah. So it got to be another level. We, do y'all think we working hard enough? I asked everybody in this room. You think we working hard enough? I would be a little bit more work. There you go. You think everything we're supposed to be with the rap music and the artists? <laughs> what about you, my brother? You think we good? We arrived already? <laughs> I, I agree with y'all wholeheartedly. We got a lot of work to do. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? And it got to be done into where people quit being so damn jealous of each other and work together, yeah, right? that's a big part. So let's, uh, let, let's talk about the music a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that motion you were just talking about. How did you process that? What happened? I mean, how did you come <laughs> up with that? Shit, where I made motion at, man? Uh, where? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was just, I just booked the session and just went in. You know, all freeze, all out. What you say, punch in, bro. Punch in, bro. Say punching in. Yeah. But it's real life though. Everything yeah. I rap, real life. Yeah, Joe's it too. Yeah, that's the way he do it. Yeah. I like y'all, y'all kind of similar with the way you know what I mean. Yeah. Just the 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 the, the theme of the uh, the whole concept. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. We but on you, the same page. Correct. Go ahead, babe. I'm, so, um, where did your music come from? Is there anybody else in your family that did music? Yeah, my grandpa, Mac. Everything I do is from Mac. Every, my gangs, Mac gangs, my grandfather, he did music in my granny garage. Me growing up watching them, so I wanted to rap. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So, he actually, he rapped too? Or did he, he, he just did play like instruments or something? Instruments, jazz. Like, I don't know if it was blues, jazz, something. Yeah, I'm not sure. Or he out of Dallas. No, nah, okay. he from Dallas. That's he was up. really from Cali, but okay. Dallas, though. Can you play any instruments? Nah, I don't, I don't think so. I ain't never tried. <laughs> you name Mac, huh? That's what they call it. Yeah, Mac. That's when my my Mac gang. That's where all that shit come from. From my mm, grandfather. He, that's what's on my. He face. always was out here. Yeah, he was. My grandfather was with the mob or some shit. They used to tell okay. Me. Like, so is he still living? He or he? From, nah, he dead. He died from lung cancer. Okay. He died around the time Michael Jackson died. Long okay. Time ago. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's who that, that that's his influence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's your why. That's he just a reason why I'm, I'm making. He ain't wasn't doing no rap music or nothing, but you know he got me to doing music. Mm -hmm. Pick up a microphone. Yeah, from him. yeah. And who was your biggest influence as in um, an artist that was already doing their thing that you looked up to and you're like, man, I like his flow. When now, or like when I was back a, then, when you just started, and you can say who now. As back well. then, probably I used to just watch BT, see Ludacris and shit. All them people on uh on BT, I used to love Ludacris. I don't know why, but I used to love <laughs> 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 but now man, it's nigga a millionaire. Like why not love him? Yeah, yeah, for sure. His I'm style, to get he was here. different. I liked, it. I love yeah. his voice. Yeah, he was. He was different for sure. And who now do you look at? Uh. Now I say, I mean I like it's a lot of artists I look up to like Future, motherfuckers like that, OGs in the game. But I really just be listening to myself, probably like Young Boy. I fuck with Young Boy. Everybody okay. do, but everybody got their reasons though. Mm -hmm. I just fuck with him like because I really relate to everything he be talking about. Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself as an all-rounded artist? And when I say all-rounded, I mean not just in the music, but actually the business, everything. As far as, I don't know. I don't even know. I'll say, yeah, I will be. Oh, you will but be, but you're not the, right now. The the business, like, what you mean by, like, the business? Like, um, I want to say, like, if you had to manage yourself, you know exactly how the things to do. If you had to promote yourself, you had to, like, take on all the aspects yeah. of all the the crew. Yeah. That you have. Yeah, I could. That you could do it because you know everything that they know as well. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I know the main, the main shit I need to be doing. I started off doing all this. That's what I've been doing. Doing it. Yeah. I started off doing it myself. I think that's the way to go. Yeah. I, mean, I was talking to Ricky Booker the other night, who used to manage Runny, Lil Runny, mm -hmm. and uh, he owned uh, Breakfast Brothers up in Arlington. If y'all ever around, check that out. He owned. A, he got a TV show on as well. We was on there last Saturday. This yeah. this podcast, and um, um, he says that Lil Runny became such a fit uh, rapper, uh, entrepreneur that he didn't need a manager anymore. Mm -hmm. Everything flowed. Lorraine and wrote for Iggy and all these other different people. You know, Mulatto, he just went gold with one of the records he wrote for her. You see what I'm saying? So he's so 
knowledgeable about what he needs to do. He knows what song he wants to make. He knows a hit when he hear it before it comes out mm -hmm. to where it operates and moves almost on its own because the brand been moving so long. Yeah, he's been doing it for a minute. That's right, and he's still relevant today. Yeah. Yeah. Something he said last night was so powerful when me and him and Trill Talk was talking because he talking Trill Talk put him on 20. Yeah, but he say, <laughs> he's saying, I'm number 22. Let me, it was <laughs> yeah. So you over Lil Run. Yeah. But this nigga here did not. Let me tell you something he said, though. You want to hear what he said? What did he say? The nigga said, make a list, niggas, and see who got the most money, nigga. That's heavy <laughs> right there. Yeah. I said, damn. Yeah, let's have a who got the they most do, money. Do that. Yeah. yeah, who got the most money? I said, nigga, that's what I'm talking about right there. Who yeah, got the most nigga money, nigga? A lot of niggas be counting yeah. getting no money. Yeah, because if he getting money, because that nigga done wrote for everybody, that nigga... Who got like, the most money from music? From music. Oh, I can't even... From music. <laughs> from music. <laughs> yeah, you just changed the whole scenario. That's changed. exactly what he that was, was talking about, too. About. That's what he made it to what he had done. No, 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 that's right. That's what he was talking about. Yeah. You know, the music. And, you know, he had a point. Like, a lot of people are fluffing things up. But the niggas I talked to, like Quick Trip and all the boys down there in Atlanta said, I was talking about niggas who fluff up their numbers and buy views and all that stuff. And you know what I'm saying? But the one thing they said, and I said this on a few episodes now, is that uh, if you're doing it, you're doing it. Is what I got from what, what they answered the question. When I asked them about are you making money off your music and are you fluffing the numbers? and are you, If you hustling, if you moving... And your album's out, and you're you, you doing it, and you rolling in these nice cars, and you might not have a view, but you're doing it. Can't nobody take that away from you. Period. You can tell, oh, he buying views, he doing No, but the nigga, when he pull up, how he pulling up? How that yes. nigga life look, nigga? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of niggas that be capping, though. Like No, but is the nigga got it? Some niggas got views and don't got it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But the nigga that do got it, when yeah, he pull yeah, he up, do whatever he, want. he do what he want to do because he really doing it that way. Mm -hmm. But the nigga who ain't got it and his views is up there and he ain't got no car or nothing. And it ain't believable. It's not believable. So it ain't going to last no way, right? Mm -hmm. That's what's up, you know. Um, what um, top three artists of all time? Dead or alive? <laughs> any genre. Any, any genre. I can't even give me one every 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 one two three. You got to give me your top three artists. Every nigga been on this platform. Give me their top three artists. Top three artists all time. Number I mean, one. Any See, it's genre. gonna be different. It ain't gonna be no two part. I don't care no, what it my is. My artist gonna be who I listen to. The, oh, and that's what I want. I that's what I've been getting on these niggas about. Top three artists you know all time right now. Number one, one. Number one. I say that's hard. Top number one. I just I'm, I ain't gonna put it. Ain't no order. All right, future young boy. Top three is one more. Is one more? Who? Future young boy. I say, little baby. I figured that I could have said it before you said it. Yeah, you know I what I mean. Why, I why even, future? Why future? That's just that's just my. I love future. Like okay. that's my dog. Like. If I Have could be future, we'd lock in. Nah, hell nah. Mm -hmm. I met only rap I met that I fucked with was like Chief Keith. Okay. We met him too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you remember that? Yeah, he a cool cat. You know what I mean? Yeah, After, I met him what, out here. Did you? Yeah. I met him in Vegas. At the, uh, we be we be moving around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cool cat. Yeah. Never really just talk to him like, you know, like, what's up, nigga? No, nah. certain niggas I have, but that's not one of me and Nipsey did that. But. Yeah, I talked to him, like, after his show, they had a little VIP. I, I was yeah, all tapped in, huh? Yeah, we locked in. That's, that's good. Shit. Did you get some knowledge from anything that you, because I always ask niggas, you know, when you enter that stage, like me and Steve Madden right there, he worth 120 million. And you see us on there a lot of time with him, so you know we'd have had conversations. Mm -hmm. what, 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 do when, you, I ain't what, what do you say that? that you feel like you can take something from it that it can give you some something that can lead you somewhere. See, this is the problem when a nigga step on that stage in life dealing with other niggas. What, what, uh, and it's somebody that can tell you something because they somewhere where you ain't at and mm -hmm. you would love to be there, else you wouldn't be hustling like you're hustling. Yeah. Well, I ain't, I ain't going to say I just got to talk to him how, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like that. It was a lot of people trying to talk to him at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I get it. But I locked in with, I was trying to lock in with him as far as just locking in on you know what I'm saying? Just not just here at this show. I I locked in with his uh, artist Tato and them ball out of shit. I locked in with them, but we weren't talking about nothing like that. We were talking about some business, some other shit. Who was that that came on here and we was like we we talked about it because you told you brought it up as well that when you met a certain person you liked them before you met them and when you met them it messed the whole relationship. Nah, it do be like that. You remember that weird. the other day? It was it was like uh, yeah, it People was, be weird. It was it was crazy. 
And, and I've done that. That's why I know it happens. Mm -hmm. Like you thinking a nigga really cool because his lyrics, and you really you see the nigga and you like, yeah, I'm a fan. I ain't out. really, I ain't really meant to me. I don't read y'all. Y'all know Big Evo. Yeah, I, yeah, I was about to ask you about it because yeah, I got a song together. We just did a song. Yeah. We locked in though. Like you fuck with me, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I remember seeing it just depend on the the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The vibe you have with niggas. Cause I done seen niggas. Some niggas get featured from niggas and never hear from them again. You ain't got to tell me. We I know those in. niggas. I like, know them. You know what what we saying? talk. Yeah, it's 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 your vibe, and nigga gonna nigga gonna judge your vibe for sure. That's what's gonna determine what he gonna do after. Seiko P said that uh, it's certain niggas, and he didn't name no names, but he did name Jay Z. He said that if he see niggas, he don't run up on niggas. Yeah, I don't run up on nobody. Like, like basically, like he just he a man too, and I I respected him in that aspect. So he got was like, him. and he just did that song with Kevin. You know, he meets Texas. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, yeah you know, you and we supposed, right? to lock, we supposed to lock in. Yeah, like, I so. talked to him a couple of days ago. If, if, if you get into it, and you've been on my show. We gonna be like, yeah, yeah. you know, because we might be frequent in the same place, and maybe opportunity created. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? To meet yeah. different people that I know. Yeah. So, um, how did how did you guys link? Uh. We ain't never met in person. Okay. But ever since, you know what I'm saying, every, I, I seen him before he started blowing up. And shit, okay, you know okay, okay. So just, you, you like the way who, he vibe. We knew who, we, we knew of each other. Put That's like dope. That. That's he dope. knew of me, I knew of him. And shit, we locked in. It's good since. to have that, that relationship and yeah. knowing you It wasn't never no hate and shit. No. no. He, he ain't going on that. Up, It wasn't no he going up, I ain't finna, he going, you know what I'm saying, it was always love, so it's yeah. cool. I got a big question for you. Let's talk about it. Uh, that, uh, Bone was on here, and he said, "Bone, you don't know he he had a hit before you was born." <laughs> you know what I'm saying, "Home Girl" was Bone the Thugs and Harmony. No, Bone, <laughs> Home Girl. <laughs> he got a big thing, no that nigga. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That I, my I nigga. Was, I was I was standing prime head when that yeah. shit. Was born. <laughs> that nigga yeah, remember, I remember that old boy? He from Atlanta, Texas. Yeah, I ain't know that. Yes, sir. And uh, he was on there. Dallas. No, sir. He from Atlanta, Texas. He meets Texas, and he uh. He I says, lie, I used to hate that song, boy. Why? Because my mama and them, they used to play, play that it all the time. They play it. That shit, I got to ask shit. you a question. What? You got to feel me on this. Do you feel like the, and you know what I'm about to ask, do you feel like uh, the East Texas radio stations support local artists? Hell no. Not how they say That's it. what Bone said. Bone said, hell no, and call them when they get here because they coming. You're I ain't going <laughs> to lie. It's some East Texas radio. I ain't going to say nobody, but they know me. Like, they just hit me up. Well, I ain't going to lie. I couldn't get the uh, clean version of the MAC. You heard the MAC by me? Yeah, yeah. You I couldn't get the clean version, so I, don't know. I thought they could do that shit, but I don't know. They ain't never, I ain't never, I, they say I, I done been on the radio before, but I ain't never heard it. So in East Texas, you feel like you've had big enough songs that it yeah, should have yeah. been on the radio? Yeah, yeah. They so made them you bigger. agree with Bone that he said he had a, uh, he, he said he had a song and it paid 140 times, and he said, but in other cities it played almost 2,000 times. The spins. That's I'm talking I mean. about total spins. My most, you would think my most uh, viewers would be from Marshall and shit like that, but they not. They from here. They from Dallas. Wow. Uh, Towards Oklahoma was in my top. I can pull it up right now. My artist shit come every Friday. Today Friday. Uh, Towards Oklahoma was in my the second place today. So I'm definitely uh, gonna keep on asking that question. I asked Sergeant B that last night, and they they know. pick and choose who they want to fuck with. Yeah. So I know it's motherfuckers that been on their radio station. What's that? That Tyler DJ Juice. Yeah, these motherfuckers I know been on the radio station. Radio station that nowhere near as good as me, big as me, none of that. Sure, from Marshall. I so don't know. I don't know if they paid or nothing, but I don't know. I that's like, that's that. illegal. Okay. See, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I know damn well they ain't nowhere near me. But you, you feel like that? Yo, I, I gotta push it back toward you. Do you feel like you should have been played on? Most Those definitely. East Texas radio stations. More than one song. Okay. And you feel like, okay, so what's, when you think about YouTube views, what, what kind of views you get on YouTube? I don't get the most, but I okay. get, I get, a, my, they real. They real. Okay. I get, the most views I probably got on the video was like 20,000, 25,000 or something, 22,000. And you look at the analytics and all the people from up here. Yeah. But I, I got like 22,000 on the video in this last year. Mm hmm. And this, Something like that, and and, and I, I tried to call Seiko when Bone was here because Seiko I, Seiko had four million. Now he's at ten million. Yeah, yeah, ten. Ten man. million now, and uh, and his other shit and, going on. And I was trying to figure out if he was getting that radio play down there at, at the Blaze. He should be. <laughs> he should be. I well, bet you they playing it somewhere else. Oh, everywhere! No, don't play, man. That's Tampa, man. It's a real and it's exactly. a real. They playing it in Tampa. 
in Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. And it's a real, uh, real, real live song, you know. But um, and so, what do you feel that you could be doing to um, excel your career even further? Uh, I just gotta keep working, man. I just gotta work harder. Just gotta work harder. Because Put I know earlier, earlier you're saying you know you weren't, you're not giving a hundred. You're not yeah. doing everything you can do. I don't feel like I am. I never, I don't, never feel like I am. Really? Mm -mm. Real talk. What about I that? Gotta, what about the process? I gotta get better and better. Yeah, and yeah. Go what, harder and harder for it. Yeah. What about that on the way, man? Shit, it's out now, man. That's Streaming awesome. crazy yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. They love it. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga called me crying listening to that song. Yeah. So with his baby in his hand. Wow. So got, I got videos of niggas with their babies That's playing dope, the song. Man. How did it make you feel? Uh, that shit was big. Like it made me feel like a certain type of way. Like damn, it's kind of sad because what I'm going through. You know what I'm saying? They trying to get me murder charges and shit. And I got a child on the way. Yeah, yeah. Two yeah. weeks, three weeks. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. But at the end of the day, like I told you, you 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 can't trip. Yeah, I ain't you, you don't know. I'm, I the, keep my head up. For yeah, because sure. the scenario can change, and that's it's gonna change. Sure. Exactly, and I know that for a fact. Prayer change. It's just I gotta go yeah, through it. You got a lot of niggas that be talking, and but but really realness. You know what I mean? You, you, when a nigga ain't, ain't got all his homeboys around, it get real real. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I know what it is with, to have your homeboys stripped away from you, and ain't nobody but you, and you have to stand as a man. Yeah. And ain't no, ain't no homeboys. Ain't no, they, they ain't gonna do. They ain't gonna. They gonna fall back anyway. They fell back on Jesus, so I know they gonna fall back on me. Yeah, yeah they gonna watch out for themselves. That's right. So make sure you understand that. And at the end of the day, a lot of them niggas ain't even gonna write you, nigga. If you do get oh caught up in something, Lord. I'm the nigga to be writing niggas right now. Oh and Lord. I don't even have to, nigga. But at the end of the day, that's what I do. My situation is just like I'm in Marshall. It's a lot of nobodies in Marshall. Yeah, motherfuckers want a name. I got a name. The situation I'm in, who they gonna blame? They gonna blame somebody with a name, right? Yeah. I'm the only, if you if they ask about the situation, who was there? That my name coming up. That's just the only problem. Ain't yeah. nothing else. I ain't even. I don't want to go too far anyway. No, no, no. It's Keep just your head I up, man. Name. Like I said, you just gotta I, get yourself a good lawyer. Yeah, for sure. And that's the truth. And if you ain't got niggas around you that that talking that talk that know how to get those law man, please, you better try to get with niggas that can. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Cause if not, and, and niggas that's willing to put that bag up with you. Yeah, yeah that, them real friends. I got niggas I can call and get a hundred thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars. If you ain't got them type friends, these niggas is weak, they lying. They ain't really homies. If they ain't can bring you five thousand, nigga, bring three thousand, nigga. Do you bring know something. <laughs> bring something. Real talk. So I, 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 that's the way I think. You know, maybe I'm a little bit out the box, but that's I how don't I think. even be trying to ask niggas for nothing. You know, you shouldn't have to ask. I if see, niggas riding I your coattail every time nigga come up, they, they you know what I'm saying? Come on now. Want, yeah. yeah, no, you shouldn't have to if that, that's who you've been rocking with. Yeah, yeah. I, I dare you think that you should have to ask a nigga for anything. You're supposed to be, but you clicked up all the time. These niggas ain't 100, though, man. I know that. That's all I'm trying to tell you. You're going to see if you ever go through a situation where you stripped away oh, from I'm your homeboy. I'm going to see boy. when I get to this court no, 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 date no. and see this, uh, what's they call it, discovery pack. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, I'm gonna know. Right? Oh, I'm going to know a whole bunch, man. Man, that's the crazy part, too, because yeah. it be real. Oh, it's real, for it'd sure. It be real. Like, I'm already knowing it's real, but I, I just got to see it first. Already, So man. if you had to go back and advise a younger you, um, man, what would you tell the younger you to do? A lot of shit, like, ah, man, I tell him, I tell myself a lot of shit, a lot of shit, a lot of mistakes I done made could have been done different. For him, just I say, just follow your own way. You know what I'm saying? Just make your own way. And yeah. believe in yourself. Yeah, believe in yourself for sure. Yeah, don't believe in nobody else. I agree, mm -hmm. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's live, man. It's heavy. Like I said, man, if it's anything that I could do, you let me know. Sure. Like I said, but um, the the one thing I can tell you is, man, don't put down your dream. Don't put down, hey, keep on pushing. Keep Can't on, you know, helping people. Because people, you're, you're some young, you got a baby that's about to be here. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and your legacy has to be strong in order to, you know, lead that next generation. Right, some on the way. Man, that's what you name? Yeah. That's what's up, man. <laughs> so, man, um, uh, just if, if you could, well, I ain't even going to ask you that. Because that's a hell of a situation, right? Boy, you can ask if you can go back and, and, and ask your younger self, your younger you, or talk to your younger you and say, hey, man, uh, uh, you get ready because this is what you need to be prepared I for. Probably what would you say? I go listen to my mama, man. Everything my mama was what telling she me. What she said. Go listen, man. Man, that mama is always All the shit I done did with all y'all, I feel like it played a part on what I'm doing now. You know what I'm saying? Already. Oh, the life I'm living. Yeah. I said this. I just wanted to be hard-headed and listen to myself. 
But yeah. you know what? We ha- all have to go through certain things to learn. Yeah. Because even as much as a lot of people say what you're saying right now, if you could go back and tell that younger you, that younger you probably cuss you out and say, you can't tell me nothing. Yeah, because I watch everybody telling me the same shit. You see what I mean? So but I tell myself I need to listen. But you probably, would, you probably wouldn't. You <laughs> probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't. Because I always been the hard headed. Like I want. I, I I make my I bump my own head. That's I, what I'm I, saying. I Some people just have to go through. I ain't want to listen. I had to go. I go through it. If it happened, it happened. That's how I was. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? The good thing about that is that you're going through things in your life to help somebody else. To help somebody that they don't have to go through what you have to go through. Because some people actually will learn from your experience. Mm. Some people don't have to bump their head. Some people do, and some people don't. But if you don't go through it, some people won't listen to you because they're like, you can't tell me what to do. You ain't been through what I had to go through. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. always use your experiences to help somebody else. That's so dope. Yeah, man. And like I say, you, when I look at you, as far as what I look at in artists and stuff, I look at appearance. You got the appearance. You got the look. You got, you got, the, you got the whole layup. I, if I was working with any nigga that I'm dealing with, when I'm talking about putting my money up, it's going to be you because... All the other niggas, and, and I'm not just being, I'm being real. I mean, I picked niggas, uh, Erica Banks and me. I picked her before she even got popular. She hit me back right now mm-hmm. because I picked her before all of that. You know, uh, when it come down, you know she gonna acknowledge what I'm doing because at the end of the day, it's real. You yeah. know, most niggas best be pump faking. But I'm telling you, when you really connected with the music and you can see something, I'm gonna look at how I'm gonna put my money up. And if I had to put my money up and, and I look at what I'm seeing, you got the package to where it's the type of package that a, a, a nigga would be willing to invest in because you got the look, you got the sound, the cadence is right, and and, and, and you gonna mar- you marketable. Yeah, that's love. No, that's real. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of niggas don't got that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 I know too. <laughs> yeah, nigga, because I know a lot of niggas be wanting a nigga to manage them, put up money for them and all kind of and stuff. And it. I'm like, nah. And nigga, gotta see that it gotta be it gotta be something that's real. And then you gotta be able to know how to deal with people well. Every nigga I ever met know how to deal with people well. They're not running around here. They, it, it's straight business. Mm-hmm. I promise you, even Lil Wayne, when we seen him, was it straight business? Mm-hmm. It's straight business, bro. I'm not capping. I'm telling you, even, even Nipsey, when we stood at the counter and talked, I'm a businessman. So when I deal with people, it's business, bro. I'm telling you. And even T.I., business, Boosie, business. Anything I'm dealing with is business. I'm about to deal with something in a few weeks. Business. Yeah. And I know how niggas act when they're in business. Or if they just doing something for the hell of it. Mm-hmm. If it's fun, I see NBA, NBA young boy ain't no dummy. You can't put together what these niggas Kodak and all them put together and be a dummy. You got the right team around you. You understand what I'm saying? I bought them, when you look at the NBA, the clothing brand, mm-hmm. even even Lil Baby's clothing brand. I see all that stuff, bro. I see it. I, I measure it because I put my money up, right? Mm-hmm. So I got to look and see if they really serious about what they doing. So when I go look at a brand that I'm bringing into a store or something that I'm dealing with, I got to see if you really putting your money up like I'm about to put my money up. Mm-hmm. So so I look real deep and the music rides with the clothes. That's why I know everybody. It's real simple. <laughs> we hustlers. When I met uh, 2 Chain was at the same place. He had a CEO line. You remember that? We, we can go time after time. Yeah, too. fashion, it, it go with hip-hop. It go with sure. hip-hop. So you that's how you end up seeing on. all these. If you ain't putting it on, you ain't. That's right, that drip. You gotta, you gotta put it on. <laughs> man, I, I, I love the fact that you came, man. Um, I'm sure. glad you're East Texas hardhead. You know what I'm saying? I like that. You know what I'm saying? Pretty you know safe. about Bel Air. You yeah. know, we, we can ride on the same streets and all that and come to Dallas and niggas gonna know me. I'm giving out plaques over here. Yeah. I just gave Lil Ronnie one last night. I gave, uh, who else? Half Pint one last night. Yeah, I'm, give, I'm the only nigga that's giving out stuff. That's showing niggas appreciation. I can keep going. Yeah. It, it, Sir Charles Jones, any nigga, million, million, niggas with millions of followers. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So all that plan, all that trying, you got to be right. This music is real. It can change your life. Yeah, yeah. But you got oh, to be no. ready, man, because the people can tell and the internet going to tell you and the people around and the, they're going to tell you what you're doing. They scale it off of that. It's the real, it's the truth because mm-hmm. it's really who you are. How often do you plan on releasing a project? I really planned on releasing one when my son came, like after naming after my son. But I am I'm gonna do that still. Mm-hmm. But I just he coming a little bit fast. Yeah, <laughs> he coming fast. <laughs> it be, I, before I knew it, it was I ain't gonna lie, this shit flew by. Mm-hmm. That's good though. At least yeah. you know he'll be here in no time. Yeah, he will. And you know it can be that two weeks before or two weeks after. Right now though, I'm trying to release some as much as possible. How many do I you have in your vault? Got Ready a lot to of shit release. In my vault. 
ready to release. I got a lot, but I don't, I be I be wanting to release. Yeah, I'm picky. Yeah, yeah, I'm picky. Yeah, everybody be like, yeah, that shit hard. But I'm like, nah, that ain't it. That ain't the you one. Know. But sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you might not feel it, but yeah, you'd be do. surprised that you let it out and it's a hit. Yeah, be that. So you can't be too romantic with it. You got to let it go and move on to the next one because you're constantly doing new stuff. Yeah. So sure. you you got to let it out. Yeah, I got songs from last year that ain't never been years. I ain't so never what you been waiting out. on? They coming out. I mean, I I'm just, dropping. Bro, I just looked at Sergeant B's uh, catalog with Joe. They had about 200 songs on that thing. Yeah. Niggas working, man. They got a lot of songs. They I not know. dropping at all, though. I know. No, they're not they dropping not. at all. Not at all. Smoothie's dropping, but Joe's is not dropping. Nah. They ain't even... My nigga all the way. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know how you doing it. But listen, man. So, so how did you get that feature with that with the Avo guy? How, what was that all about? I had explain uh, that to me. I did a show Big in Yavo. Tyler. Uh, he opened up for Yavo. Okay. And shit, I end up me and my boy right here. We end up shit locking in with the uh, manager. That's his, dope. His role manager. That's dope. And shit, we locked in ever since. Uh, oh. What we did the song with the next day after the show. Like a couple of days later, yeah, we came up here. I booked a session. Shit, he came. We shot the video at the whole wow. the video on the way. Wow, Should that's dope, man. Real soon. That's dope. Like I said, that's the way it happens, man. You yeah, just he just told me right? some more shit too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you know it's deep. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not just so off the surface. I know niggas that then did whole projects with niggas that I could start naming. Y'all be like, damn. And it didn't do nothing because it wasn't an organic relationship mm -hmm. like we were talking about earlier. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga just uh, posted like, I ain't posting nobody music unless I know for a fact they living what they rapping and shit like that. And yeah, that's how we, yeah, after that he told me to send me some more shit. So that just <laughs> let me know right there. Yeah, we official. locked in. Yeah. Right for you with a whistle. Well, man, hey, man, we love you, man. We appreciate you for coming on Boss yeah, Talk 101. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Say, man, like I said, anytime you want to pull up, if you got something you're trying to do, Say, man, you locked in, man. For sure. Like I said, if it's any hard heads down there, just ask about me. They're going to tell you. <laughs> just go, ahead, go go back and check. Go go back and start asking. And be like, you know, nigga, E, man, he talked that talk. He really liked that. Go ask. <laughs> go back to the hood. You can go all the way. You can come back to Dallas, too. But yeah. kill along them in Oakland. I start naming names. and it, Go ask. Yeah. And I it's real. You know what I'm saying? It's three. It's not, it's not nothing to play with. I like, believe you. That, See, I, you don't know me because I'm we, we a whole new generation. Exactly, but, but I respect them, it. If you ask them about me, they go tell you. You yeah, see what yeah. I'm saying? I respect <laughs> it because I remember. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. Most niggas don't want to. They, they, they change their thinking, and they be like, they forget about the people like you mm -hmm. who going through what they've been through. Yeah. And they don't know how to communicate with them because mm -hmm. they acting like they forgot and they, they don't want to be that oh, no when more. when they try they say the wrong shit. Yeah, they act like they don't really know nothing about this life. Stuff. Yeah, nigga, you know, you were young before. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I respect and love the young people, man. Yeah. Shout out to the young folk, man. Keep on making that music, get that money, nigga. Entrepreneurship is real. For sure. Say, For man, sure. it, it, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.